Hello everyone and in this video we'll be having a look at the Yandex browser Alpha on the Fire tablet. We had a look at Yandex browser Alpha yesterday on the Chromebook and we did come across some common Yandex browser problems which is fairly critical but uh, which is fairly typical rather not critical typical of the Yandex browser but we'll explain that later on in the video now before we continue on please subscribe to my channel because we've got quite a few video tests on browsers like this one so let us get started so Yandex browser alpha first of all resembles Chrome Dev because it is part of a developer scheme that the Yandex do to help improve other versions of the Yandex browser such as Yandex browser beta and after you've installed the Yandex browser alpha or any of the browser apps for that matter they're just called browser alpha, browser beta and there's no formal identity to it so it would be nice if it was called Yandex browser alpha or whatever the version may be prior and after installation Enter a query or website address. Edit. now we got some pages on the home page and I was talking about some common Yandex problems early on in the video and if I turn the volume up this underscore dashboard and all that lot and again that is that is a common Yandex browser problem and it would be nice if it was simplified to you know booking.com but what makes it even worse is not only have it got to listen to the disk run the score but it also reads the full website address which is used to identify a website it doesn't read the website title so you no know, please could you fix that or rectify that problem and interestingly the article section it says pharonix.com but it doesn't say all the HTTPS and all that lot nor does it have that disc or description tag and again it would be nice if the no page layout was consistent i.e. the collider.com and all that lot but again that is that now there is an activate voice search icon which I believe uses the Alice virtual voice assistant which you can install from the Google Play however using having used Yandex browser in the past I have had trouble with the Alice voice assistant speak in another language other than you know the current language i english and although we would like to try the voice assistant out because my screen recorder is using the microphone and you can't have two apps using the microphone at the same time it therefore leaves us unable to do so so you've got sign into yandex report an error says default browser and it says search by camera image which is fairly interesting and you've got chats and you've got password manager which is fairly handy because it saves you having to go to the settings just to access such things I believe on the bigger devices it has a split screen view unlike on this one where it's a singular window and the split screen view enables you to work in a flow order so no what is that um, now one of the things that we saw yesterday was this L 
LJJ, I think. LJJ. LJJ. And again, it would be nice whether that LJJ were explained. You got power saving mode. Turbo mode settings. And you got turbo mode. your internet traffic so that pages load faster. We're going to have a look at the turbo mode because I did notice that the browser was a little bit slow running. We're going to put always on, so hopefully that should speed things up a bit. That speed things up a bit. And that LJJ is there again, so. Region selection. Well, well. Now you got the search engine down here. It would be nice if it was up the top there, given its importance. The search engine interprets what you've typed in to the address bar or the edit box provided by the engine, and brings up the relevant information. So, given that importance, it would be nice if it was at the top. You got the voice search feature here. Input feature at secure save clear LG pass password. You got create You got create master password. But one thing you haven't got is an accessibility section. And that is quite bad really because it would be nice if you'd be able to adjust your text size and turn on the simplified view. Now if you've been watching our Fire Tablet browser videos in the past, you'd often we we you'd often hear me talk about the Dolby Atmos compatibility and what we mean by that is if you like to watch videos in a browser as opposed to an app the browser won't give you that Dolby Rix sound that your speakers are capable of so that is why we have been testing browsers again that we have probably looked at in the past on the Fire Tablet for Dolby Atmos compatibility. Not only that, we've been playing videos on Quest OD Popular so we can in new Popular. Oh, so we can uh, stretch the browser video playback capability. Now what I have to do is I actually have to cut the video so I can get the video URL which will take us directly to the video itself rather than going through the Quest OD website Stop. and all that lot. So what I'll do is I'll cut the video and get the URL and Pause. we'll be back with you. Alright then. We are back with you now. Managed to get the video address after all that. So what we'll do is we'll turn the volume up and we'll give her a listen. Right, here we go. Now, while you can hear some sound, it could be better, which therefore tells us that it is not Dolby Atmos compatible, which is really sad. So if you want a Dolby Atmos compatible browser, the best browser to go for is the Opera Mini Beta browser, because that has articles and a home page with very good page descriptions. However, you can go for Rocket Browser, Fast Browser, and the Opera Mini Browser. And I think there is another Fast Browser, which is also Dolby Atmos compatible. 
In conclusion, the Yandex Browser Alpha has quite a few handy features to it. However, there are some things that you need to take into account. First of all, is the home page. The home page has these items which are very long labeled for screen reader users. There isn't an accessibility section where you can adjust the text. And the Alice Voice Assistant, it does have its language problem, like I said earlier on in the video in the past. So just be mindful that the voice input might not you know, do what you desire. So, when is that? Well, I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos to come. And we will see you soon.